may notice a couple things missing the next time you go to see a show at the Benedum Center. Royce Jones is here to tell us about the makeover underway. Royce. Yeah, Ken, whether you drive past them or you walk under them on your way to see a show, the bright blinking marquees outside the Benedum Center are the highlight of Penn and 7th downtown. But over the next couple of months, the marquees will be missing in action while undergoing a much needed makeover. Standing six feet tall and 80 feet wide this week, the marquee on the Penn Avenue side of the Benedum Center was delicately detached hoisted onto a truck and hauled away to a repair shop in Carnegie, along with the main marquee on the front facade. It will look exactly the same, but just newer, fresher, brighter, more vibrant, um, and uh, just help kind of restore this, this grand theater to its original uh, uh, construction. The historic marquees have been around for decades and neither have been able to cheat time with rust and deterioration, but the nips and tucks they're now receiving will help them keep their nostalgic charm while showing some modern technology. There's uh, kind of some uh, very uh, delicate um, metal work that has to happen. There's um, thousands of uh, twinkle lights, uh, we call them chaser lights that are on the marquee. Those are being um, uh, some of those sockets are being restored and um, we'll have all LED lights. The marquee makeover is part of a bigger series of renovations outside and inside the Benedum, said to help improve the guest experience, including new poster cases, chandelier upgrades and more. There are going to be some improvements to the um, house lighting system and sound system at the Benedum Center, some other improvements to uh, at some point, um, elevators and um, uh, some of, of course, the beautiful chandeliers. Leaders at the Cultural Trust recently finished a funding campaign allowing them to make these upgrades. The Penn Avenue marquee will be complete in a couple weeks. The 7th Street one should be finished in a couple months. By the way, the Cultural Trust says that those marquees are flashing almost constantly and can run up a pretty lofty energy bill. So switching the bulbs to LED will actually help them significantly lower their usage, a switch that the theater has made fully throughout the building. Ken. Makes sense. Okay, Royce, thanks.